find the plane of points which are equidistant from these two given points and at the end our job is to determine where that plane intersects the y-axis. In class we had a very similar problem and what we had learned at the time was that we want to set the distance between a generic point x, y, z and uh, each of these points individually uh, equal but we have a more elegant way to do it now that we know equations of lines and planes and so what we're going to do is first recognize that we want the equation of a plane so we're going to need two things a point that's on the plane and the normal vector to the plane so let's go for the point on the plane first alright so point on the plane can be found how well the easiest way to find a point on this plane is to take the midpoint of the line segment that connects these two points so that's that's what we'll do I'm sorry my mouse is not cooperating sorry mm -hmm. sorry about that okay so find a point on the plane by taking the midpoint of the line segment that connects these two. That's just a midpoint point where you take an average, you add the x's up, divide by 2, add the y's up, divide by 2, and add the z's up, and divide by 2. So what that gives you is the point 2, because it's 4 over 2, 0, because it's 0 from the numerator, and a negative 1, negative 2 in the numerator. <laughs> Alright, so that's our point. Let's just file that away. That is the point that we would use in our equation of the plane. Next up, we need a normal vector to the plane. And we're going to get that by finding the vector that connects these two points. So we have our point and our normal vector, and then we'll put them together. So the normal vector to the plane will be found by finding the vector that connects the two points. All right. So, we know how to find a vector from one point to the other. It doesn't matter which point you choose as the initial and terminal, because it would just give you the opposite normal vector. The, the vector a normal vector that points in the opposite direction. Um, the vector between the two points is that is that fine for me to write that? I think it's good. Vector between the two points. All right. So that's the vector. We'll just take the second points and coordinates and subtract the first points coordinates. One minus three. I'm sorry undo that. 3 minus 1 if we're going to do it in that order. Not that you couldn't do it the other order, but I had said something different. So uh, 3 minus 1, negative 1 minus 1, and negative 3 minus 1. So 
that gives the normal vector 2, negative 2, negative 4. Now, we can take this vector or any scalar multiple of this vector. And so, nothing wrong with using this vector. If we can find sort of a, a lowest common sort of factor out anything that they might uh, these components might have in common then that would make the uh, the numbers that we're going to deal with a little bit easier and so we will um, for our normal vector use the vector uh, let's take our two out um, let's maybe, maybe even a negative two let's use the normal vector to be And so this is negative 2, if I could fit it in here, painting myself into a corner, <laughs> um, times uh, negative 1, 1, 2. And we'll use that vector as our, as our vector. Negative 1, 1, 2. Okay, so we have our normal vector, we have our point for the plane. We put these two together and find the equation of the plane. So what kind of plane equation will we get when we take the normal vector and the point? We saw that what we can do is, uh, this is our a, b, and c, the, the, the normal vector's components. So we take negative 1 times x and positive 1 times y and positive 2 times z make sure I uh, distinguish my 2's and my z's alright so positive 2 let me just put a line for the z and uh, plus a d should be equal to 0 and then the way we get what the d is is by plugging the point in Sorry, that's a pretty poor zero. Should get a tablet. And so we plug the point in and take negative one times two plus one times zero uh, uh, plus two times negative one should equal to, uh, sorry, plus a D should be equal to zero. And so we get um, negative 2 uh, minus 2 plus d is 0, so d is 4. <laughs> oh, sorry, what is going on here? So d is 4. Alright, good. So we have our equation for our plane, and then we can answer the question finally at the end. We have. Um, the equation is negative x plus y plus 2z plus 4 equals to 0. And the question at hand is determine where this plane intersects the y axis. So you're going to intersect the y axis when your x and your z is equal to zero. And so we just do that and solve for y. And so um, x and z are both zero, so y must be negative four. y plus four is zero, so y is negative four. Very good. letter A. And that's our answer to the question. Good job.